We're gonna start this chapter 14, Vectors and System of the Space. It's page 270 in the book. This is in volume one, and we have another chapter in volume one, then the third one, volume two. First, we will start, it's a revision from last year, and even from the grade nine class, how to define a vector. Every time I need to define a vector, I need to know the direction, the sense, and the norm. The direction and the sense are not the same. When I talk about direction, I mean, on which line this vector lies. And what I'm talking direction, I mean, or on a line or on two parallel lines. Yani, for example, if I take the highway, autostrad, okay, the car is going, for, so for example, from the north to Beirut, and the car is coming from Beirut to the north, they have this, the same direction. I know they are moving parallel. So they have the same direction, but they don't have the same norm. So I know when I talk about direction, يعني, on which line those vectors lies. Sense, يعني, I'm talking on left to right, to right to left. Okay, يعني, hey, the sense. Those are those two vectors who are on the same direction, same direction, but opposite sense, same direction, and they are moving on the same line, but they are moving opposite. Okay. For example, Kamena, how the vectors, those two, they have the same sense, like, they are moving on two parallel lines, but they have opposite sense. Uh, sorry, they have the same direction, and they are moving on the on two parallel lines, but they have opposite sense. Norm or magnitude, yeah, distance. Yeah, and what is how many, uh, if I measure the distance of this vector, what is my what is the distance of this vector? Okay, so every time I define a vector with the on direction, sense, and magnitude, our norm, our distance. Now Two vectors are equal if they have same sense, same same direction, same sense, same magnitude. Hella, is a man same direction? Same direction. It means, for example, those two vectors, they have the same direction, and they have the same sense, same magnitude. We can the same measure. So those two vectors are equal. But for example, if I take this vector, okay, and this vector. Okay, both, how they, they have same direction, yes, same sense, yes, but not the same magnitude, not the same distance, so they are not equal. But if you could on the heck, and those two, they have same direction, they have the same magnitude, but they don't have the same sense, they are not equal, yani. Bellish one by one, same direction, I continue, same sense, okay, if not the same sense, has I stop. Yani, those two same direction, not the same sense, has my on am parallel magnitude. So when I say equal vector, they should have same sense and same direction and same magnitude. Yani, for example, those are equal oh, like this. That one the same distance. Now, every time you have, yeah, every time two vectors are given equal, I can deduce three things. I can deduce that they are parallel or collinear. Okay, yani, I have, I have equal distance, so they are parallel, yani, whatever AB is equal to CD, yani, AB is parallel to CD, or A, AB, CD are collinear, okay, and AB is equal to CD, so they are, they are parallel, or they are uh, they are parallel and they are equal. Yani, when I talk about those vectors, A, B is equal to C, D. Look, yani they are parallel and they are equal. It gives me two things, parallel and equal. Well, I did from last year. I don't remember what I mean by this one. They could be also on the same line. Hala, how I can prove them if they have point in common? And as an analyst, A, B is equal to B, C, for example. In this case, I can deduce that B is the midpoint. A, B is equal to B, C. So if I have A, B is equal to B, C, so B is the midpoint. So every time I have two equal vectors, this one will give me two results. Our parallel and or collinear and equal. يعني عندي يا parallel مع equal أو collinear and equal يعني مقصر عندي mid. Okay. Now operation with vectors come ahead. You note from last year. Anna two rules. Anna Charles rule and a parallelogram rule. Charles rule when when I have consecutive vectors. Consecutive. Okay, consecutive vectors. 
So AB plus BC دغري AC. AF plus FM AM. Directly. Parallelogram rule. I did parallelogram rule. I have the same origin. So AB plus AC is equal to A of a new point. And this new point uh, is uh, form a parallelogram. And I'm going AD a parallelogram. What I wrote here, I don't remember. Ah, okay. Yeah, those are opposite vectors. So minus, minus uh, AB here, BA. So AB plus AC gives me A, a new point, yani it's, and then it's form a parallelogram. So AB, DC is a parallelogram. So I have two rules. Consecutive AU, they have the same origin. When they have the same origin, it means I we need to use the parallelogram. What I have here? Three. Uh -huh. Heidi, very important. How to plot a point. Hala hon. Last year, you were taking the points and on X, Y. When I'm going X, Y, and Z. So, for example, if I have the point A, A, 1, 2, 3. Yani X is 1, Y is 2, Z is 3. Then I'm going to like this. This is my positive sense. I go like this. So, X, Y, Z. The unit vector of X will I, J, K. Yani 1, I, 2, J, 3, K. Yani hey, the X, Y, and Z. How do we plot 1, 2, 3? Then on our sheet, we start with X, Y, but then our Z. So I'll do it here, bigger. So, put on all vectors. So that's it. Hey, the X, Y, no one is Z, perpendicular. It's going to be space geometry, okay? So, I have the point A. It was 1, 1. Let me check what was the point. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. First day one, we plot X and Y. So one unit, two units, and uh, I do a parallelogram. So this is the location of, hide the location of one, two. Hala, surely we'll do it more uh, during the online session. Three, but the amal three, hala, we need to go up parallel, but the itla parallel can in the space. And hide the one, two, three units, but the itla three units parallel. I'm bitla one unit, two units. Three units. Yani can start in space the point. Okay, this is A, one, two, three. We will do more plotting during our session. Okay, so it's as in space. Yani X, Y, and Z. Kamer, if it's negative, we'll go to the negative part. We'll do this more during my online session. Don't worry, guys. You can see I have here many plotting. We will see during my online session. Don't worry, guys. Now, how do we find the coordinate of a vector? كمان مثل ما كنتوا تعملون بال بالبلين ذا سيم اكس بي ماينس اكس اي واي بي ماينس واي اي بس وي هاف زد بي ماينس زد اي سو اي بي فاكتور اكس بي ماينس اكس اي واي بي ماينس واي اي بس هون وي هاف زد اكسترا زد بي ماينس زد اي اوسو تو فايند ذا ميد بوينت اوف اي بي نورمال نحن عندنا اكس اي بلس اكس بي اوفر 2 واي بي واي اي بلس واي بي اوفر 2 اتس اكسترا هو زد زد اي بلس زد بي اوفر 2 اند اي هاف ان اكزامبل هير اف اي ونت تو فايند ذا ميد بوينت اوف اي بي فاكتور I have three to four. Okay, so the same as I'm not Z extra. How do we find the center of gravity of the triangle ABC? Is I'm not triangle ABC, and I need to find the coordinate of the center of gravity. X of the center of gravity, XA plus XB plus XC over three. YA plus YB plus, y, plus YC over three. ZA plus ZB plus ZB over three. Or Columbus formulas. Okay, nothing important. Part five, this is very important. When I say collinear vectors, collinear vectors, yani they are on, they have the same direction, and they are on the same line. In the vectors, they are on the same line, same direction. If you call like this, or they could be also parallel. How do we prove that two vectors are collinear? And that two methods, or we prove that u is equal alpha v, how x over x prime is equal y over y prime z over z prime. What does it mean? If I have the vector u, 2, 3, 4, and I have the vector v, 6, 9, 12, I want to see if they are collinear. I try x over x prime, 2 over 6, oh, 6 over 2, 3, 9 over 3, 3, 12 over 4, 3. It means, yes, they are collinear. x over x prime equals y over prime equals z over prime. I have a vector. If I multiply uh, u by 3, I will get the vector v. So v is equal to 3u. That's why I mean it means that here the two vectors are collinear. Yani they are yeah parallel, yeah on the same line. Okay? Well, the same to prove collinear points, but the how on the vectors. And to prove that those points are on the same line, 
you can see point in common. So to prove collinear point on ABC, so it's enough to prove that AB is equal to alpha BC. Okay. Leila, ma ta nabul AB is and BC are collinear and the same direction. And on a common point. So ABC are on the same line. But I'm going to say AB and BC uh, are collinear and they have the same direction. Surely they have the same direction. Yani AB and BC are yeah, parallel, yeah, on the same line. But since they have a common point on a plus, I'm going to say plus a common point, yani I don't have any other choice. They are on the same line, so ABC like this. Okay, so AB and BC and on same direction. This is what's written here. Plus a common point when I have it B. So A, B, C are, sorry for the handwriting, on, okay, the same line. And they are collinear. They are on the same line. translation. I'll leave it to the second video. Coplanar vectors. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. If I say that two vectors are coplanar, we can see more the application. Uh, a, B, C, D f uh, uh, are a uh, couple if they form a plane. Yani they are they form a plane. Yani I need to prove that A, B is equal alpha A, C plus beta A, D. How U is equal alpha V plus beta W. So three vectors are coplanar. Yani they are in the same plane. Yani they, are, they form a plane. If I can prove th this relation between the vectors, A, B is equal alpha A, C plus beta A, D. Come on, I can show you the bell application in the book. Don't worry, guys. Let's do the application later. The last one, translation of axis. If I'm moving, yeah, is I'm at the point A, 2, 1. Okay. I, I, I moved the axe. But, but the O zero, so the o another point. How do we find the new coordinates of A? So here formula, X of the new point, here the new point, is equal X of the old point minus X of the prime, and the new origin. Y of the new point is equal to of the old minus Y of the origin, Z of the new point. Yani, for example, if the new origin is O prime, let's say I move it one, two, three. Well, my old point was A, let's say 1, 4, 5. What will be the coordinates of A in my new system? Bitcoin, X of A, and X of a new point, our A prime. Bitcoin, 1 minus 1, and it's here 0. Y of A prime, and the new Y of the point, here 4 minus Y of O prime, and here 2. And Z of A prime will be... Uh, 5, yani, Z old, minus Z of O prime, minus 3, 2. Yani, the new coordinates of A prime, if I translate my axis, will be well, 0, 2, 2. Come and I had the on Bell application. That's it. It's very easy. So this is all the chapter. We will see more application during our online session.